the time when I decided to join the convent, father thought I finally lost it. Yeah. So they were not exactly thrilled. But as time went by, um, my mother was, well, if that's what's going to make you happy. No, my father tells his friends, guess who my son-in-law is? The great Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> I am from Africa and yet I am very much in touch with my family due to the support of my Franciscan family who insists that we keep in touch with our families. They actually encourage that. So as I said to you, I hadn't been back to Zimbabwe for seven years. My mission council said, oh no, you have to be in touch with your family. That is very, very important. I'm in one of the cruise photos and um, these others were just taken this morning and sent to me from London. There's an ocean between my family and me, so it is important that I don't lose touch with my family. I mean, I know almost week by week what's happening at home, so when I get home it's not, oh, what has been happening in the last five years? It's that I am up to date. I don't feel that I'm disconnected from my family at all. When I go and visit my family, they usually say, how's your family back home? <laughs> the Franciscan sisters are my family. This is my family home. And I work in the Twin Cities and I tell my work colleagues when I come to La Crosse, I'm going home. I'm going home for the weekend. And First I said, Zimbabwe? I said, no, the cross was constant. Look around to see which congregation you want to join and look at what are their values. Is family one of them? Or are they saying cut the ties? Because that has not been my experience with FSPA. As soon as they said, no, you will keep in touch with your family. I was, whoa, I'm a human being. And my family matters. 